So in this clip, what I'm showing is that I'm cutting a grid of two inch squares all over the spoil board, what's known as the spoil board. I had previously done a test to see how thin of a line that I could cut and have it be visible without interfering with anything. We'll speed this up. This total cut took about 17 minutes. I definitely could have sped the router up, uh, but I didn't want to go too fast and I was still learning how fast I can go. You'll also notice in this that I have changed the dust boot to one that uh, routes out the back. This just opens up the front and allows me to see more clearly what is going on with the bit when I look. We're done with the horizontal lines. We'll do the ones front to back. One thing when I planned the spoil board out with the blue, uh, what are known as T tracks, which are going to help me clamp, I put those on six inch centers, which of course lined up exactly with the two inch centers on the lines here. I can change that in the future. And I may reduce the number of T-tracks. As we get to the end of the grid here, we're going to come back to the center point. We'll slow down to normal speed here. And now what I'm doing is cutting circles based on that center point. I don't know that these are necessary, but Visually, they're going to help me center a piece if I need to. Don't always need to. Um, when I put a work piece down, after that I can tell the machine where the center of that piece is. It doesn't have to be centered to the machine. And then finally when we're done with the circles, we'll put a big cross 